Hello everyone, welcome to ARL F2 for this third round of the season at Belgium. We're about to get underway for one-shot qualifying. I'm joined by Raptor. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So, we had a tricky... Yeah, not doing too bad. We had a what tricky season. <laughs> yeah. Um, technical issues, but I think they're resolved, are they? Yeah. Perfect. So, we had a tricky uh, last race, but... We've bounced back, and we're going to give it another go here at Belgium. Brilliant circuit. What are your expectations for tonight? I expect to, to have some good battling up the front with Jack, Ben, Bennett, Pluto, and Xperia on Goggle. They're the, the favourites, I'd say, for this race, and Matt Eve, of course. And hopefully the, the midfield will be good battling as well. <clears throat> so, we have got Jack... And we actually, we've got all the title protagonists here tonight. Let me try and find the standings, if I am able to. Because we haven't put them in the chat, and it's very annoying. Right, let me find this then. So after F2 Italy, Pluto is on 86 points. Jack is on 82. Explo down in third with 69 very nice. Google saw in fourth with 62. Bennett has 43 to his name. Chungus is uh, now in sixth place with 28 after taxes left. Uh, we've got then Matty down in, uh, that would be seventh with 24. Such J returns after a few weeks out and he's in eighth with 12. Utah Elephant is back as well racing with eight points to his name. And Florian is the tenth driver on the list with six. And um, only sorry, thirteen drivers tonight. Sorry, I didn't interrupt and you. And this is going to get very complicated. Yep. I I've seen someone put in the chat it's meant to be raining for the feature race. How is it meant to be raining? I don't know. Well, someone said that. It's raining in the feature. Oh no, that's not going to be. <laughs> well, that's going to be very spicy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Google saw it. Yeah, Google Saw leads this qualifying so far through to Sector 1, fastest of everyone. Explo second, Pluto up and down, but Callum's just made massive gains up to second. Explo goes to the lead. It's very hard to commentate on one-shot quality when you can only see one car. Yeah. But we're going to try and make it work. Pluto then up to second, Jack third, so that's going to look... Uh, pretty tasty at the start if that stays that way. Communist down in 12th, Aranok on 13th. He's reserve and he's very kindly jumped in the car for tonight's race. Utah Elephant jumping around at the back as well. Jack jumps to second. So it's Pluto and Bennett on the second row. Not for long though because <laughs> Callum, Goggle, everyone's fighting over that place. X below. Is Nick at the top though with Jack second, so it looks to be pole position for Expo as long as he gets the bus stop chicane nailed. <laughs> looks to be fine. Actually, no, Jack's absolutely nailed it. Jumps to first. Oh, I think that Jack's might fun. be pole position. Jack spun. So he's Expo on pole. Pluto second, Google saw third, and I'm not sure where ended up. I think he got P4, he said he got, got lost, like the few positions. Wow, I thought he had it there, maybe he went really deep. Yeah. So there's the order, Explo first, Pluto second, Google saw in third, Jack with that spin as Raptor said in, Matty in fifth, Chunga sixth, Bennett seventh, Callum in eighth, Warman down ninth, Foley tenth, Utah eleventh, Aranok on 12th, and Com down in 13th. Okay, what did you think of that session? It was, I thought I'd feel had it, for, but then we saw Jack get him at the, the bus stop, but when Jack spun, I, I thought he would have went to the back, which would have, been a, would have set up for a good race, seeing him fight through his dirt pack as well. Absolutely, it's going to be an interesting race. 
him down in fourth. He's started lower than that before and been more than fighting for the win. So I'm sure it won't be too difficult for him to, to come back through the field. And if it is raining, which it looks like it is, uh, it's going to be very spicy into Turn 1 and into Eau Rouge and Radion. Kogoda needs it. Kogoda wants an invite. I'll tell him he can go mm. in the second race. Yeah, could you um, could you do that? Yeah. If you could. Yep. Lovely job, Lee. Just waiting for the drivers to ready up. Of course, it is a stock um, stock setup race, so they won't be able to make any adjustments for the rain, which is only going to add to the carnage. I've sent him an invite now. Just waiting on Bennett. So we're going to get underway for the formation lap. It looks to be relatively dry. It is dry. They are on the slick tyres. I say the rain could be coming on later in the race, so they won't just try to do their best to stay on the softs until the rain comes. This is going to be a tactical race then. It's going to be interesting. With only 13 drivers, if anyone retires, which would be quite impressive on reduced damage, we've got one person taking the... That's the endurance route up the hill. Interesting. But it's going to be all about tyre warming. Uh, they tend to like it on ARL when we do favourites. Yeah. But I'm not going to call it favourites. So I'm going to say pick three drivers that you think are going to do well. <laughs> so I think favourites is a crass term. All right. Um, well, I think Spielo's going to do well because he's rapid in F2 cars all the time and he's on mm -hmm. pole, so um, I just... I'll stay in the rain now, it's raining. Interesting. And my other two favourites are Gogglesaw and um, Bennett. I think Gogglesaw okay. because he's yeah. just decent in F2 cars, I've raced against him a lot in F2 cars and he's always rapid. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Bennett can show a, a few surprises. Absolutely. I'm going to go for uh, Callum. I'm going to go for Pluto and I'm going to go for Gogol. That's, that's going to be the three that I'm going to look out for. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think I think they could be really good in this, in this sort of interchangeable conditions. So it is already spitting. How long do you think it will take for the rain to come into proper full effect? I say give it about two or three laps and they'll be sliding everywhere. I don't know, since it's raining now, they'll have to wait till lap four or whatever it is to pit. I'm not too sure about that. <clears throat> I'm not too sure either and of course, as we found out, you can't pit or you can't do your mandatory pit under VSC. I'm, I'm wonder, I'm not up to date with the F2 rules, whether during a rain session it's the same sort of thing as F1. Um, but I think we'll find out. <laughs> I don't even think the drivers will know uh, if they have to stop before or after lap three. Anyway, it doesn't change the fact that it's going to be an interesting race. And sorry, you're about to say something? There's also no entry tyres in F2, so they'll have to go straight to wets. Aha, that's a very good point. That's going to make it even more interesting and varied we don't really know what to expect all we do know is the lights are coming on now and we're about to get underway for this feature race and away we go Quick set. seems to be a good start from Pluto he's going to go wheel to wheel I think there was a bad start there from uh, Callum and they're, they're four wide on the exit there's carbon fibre being flung across the circuit Expo still leads Pluto is he going to go wheel to wheel through Radio Rouge and then Radion. He does, he oh. absolutely does, and he still stays in there wheel to wheel through. And that's going to allow Gogglesaw. He's had a phenomenal run and Jack's up to second. Wow. Back to the gut, I'm here. Into the Kemmel straight, into uh, the Coom. Yeah, Jack takes the lead. One move there. No spinners, so the yeah. order then is Jack from Goggle, Explode third, Pluto down to fourth, Bennett fifth, around the outside of his teammate. 
into Bruce Sells. He's still Bennett there though. The lock wheels. Damage. Mm, yeah, he has damage. He has damage. And Matty, look at this. Matty goes around the outside. It's still raining. Don't forget. Who's now going Callum? down the inside of. Yeah. As they charge through Puon. The car going wheels. Dungus. Absolutely fantastic move. Bennett is really limping with that wing damage. And I don't think he's going to be able to make it round to the wet period on it's this current. Exp yes, he did. Yeah, so Google's third, Pluto fourth. And here comes Chungus as well. Great exit. Great exit. He's overtaking Callum before Radion. Before Radion. Before. <laughs> Um, What's the bloody corner? Blanchemont. Blanchemont. Oh, the wheel to wheel into Blanchemont. Oh, Bennett nearly took off Lamont's wing because he had to break with his wing damage. It's going to go defensive then. We're super warm and late on the brakes across the sh chicane. Callum goes deep. Was that to pit? No, there's a Campos there trying to fit his way through. There's so much action here. DRS has been enabled, but we're only on lap two, so I'm not too sure about that. No, that was just a mistake from Callum. And we got our first penalty. That's Aaron Ocon. So after one lap of racing, what's your thoughts at the moment, Raptor? Um, surprisingly, nobody's had major incidents. And, um, yeah, uh, great battling so far. And the Explo, I'm um, thinking is being overtaken by Pluto. Yes, he is. Trying to get a good camera angle. There we are. He's going to go round the outside of Pluto, one of the champ the championship leader, trying to go after his championship contender, and that's a great move from Explo. But Pluto comes back to him. They're still wheel to wheel, going through no name. Explo's got the move done. Surely, is a bit of a wiggle. And the two BWT Ardens in the background, or HWA race labs, or whatever the hell they're called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're still Ardens, and they're going wheel to wheel, the two teammates outside of Pool. Yeah, there's the rain then. So surely wet to the now the go to tyre. Jack is romping away at the lead as they just scramble for grip. That's gone wide from XB low. He's been forced oh, out by okay. one, oh. no, two BWTs. And that is dropped down actually behind Matty as well. That's very opportunistic from Matty. Oh, oh there's okay. a car spinning there. That's super warming into the wall. Oh, oh I, thought, I thought he hit somebody. It was just from the way he reset the track. And Communist then, I think, is going to be making the move surely. Yeah, absolutely. So, oh wow, that's Aaron Ocon and Joe going wheel to wheel through Blanchemont. Um, Joe's going to get a switch back into the bus stop. Who's going to pit then? Pluto pits, Chungus pits, Google pit. pits. Oh, Jack stays out and fun. Aaron Ocon almost fun. loses it, trying to get in. Oh, no. What happened there? Sorry, I, I missed that. Chungus spun of the pit lane and um, Goggle hit him and he got damage. So Goggle, not only is he going to have to double stack, he's going to repair his pit, uh, his front wing as well. This is catastrophic for his race. Pluto then, he's pit, but Jack stays out. I'm going to watch Jack, see how his tyres are coping. Everyone maybe, else is in the pit lane. Okay. Maybe Jack thinks he's not out of the pit yet. Maybe, maybe he's just giving himself that safety barrier by pitting later. So Pluto has jumped XP though, I think. No, he was... No, he wasn't. He wasn't ahead, so he has jumped in. Matty in fourth, he's jumped up a place because of Chungus and Goggle Saw's incident. Goggle only just comes out of the pit lane now. Watch the delta then between Pluto and, Pluto and Jack. How much is that oh, going to come down by? He's gaining a lot. He's, he's gaining about seven seconds since he's put. There it is, it's tumbling down. It's gone from 28 down to 24 now. Com is coming after Bennett, but there's about a second between them. DRS being disabled, they're all scrambling around. These wet tyres, of course, this is normally intermediate conditions. So the wets are going to be struggling for grip. 
Chunkus and Aaron Ocon switch places. 22 seconds is the gap up front. Up, Jack is lot. either... Yeah, he is. He's going to be struggling so much. Jack has either played a blinding strategic call by staying out and meeting the requirements, or has fumbled it from a five-second lead by misunderstanding and misinterpreting the regulations. I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah. Well, he pit, let's see. Uh, well, no, he doesn't. Oh, he's got a 10-second penalty. He's just got a 10-second penalty. Oh, he's spun it. He's, and he's spun. spun. It. What he's is... Got what? He's, he's retired. He's retired from the race as well. Oh, no. He's left. I yeah. have... No idea what just happened to Jack there. I am confusion. I'm not sure what happened. I think he just skated across, missed the pit box, got a 10 second penalty and thought, no chance, and retired. Wow. So that promotes Pluto to the race lead by 4.4 seconds. Explo second, Matty third, Bennett 10th. Uh, but it'll jump up to ninth, and then Communist will move up to 10th. Superwoman in 11th, and Google recovering from that pit box blunder down in 13th. That's Chungus and Florian going wheel to wheel. Chungus moves up to 5th place before Lacoon. We'll try and get a word from Jack. Just, I asked him in the chat and he said he just couldn't be bothered. So yeah, what you said <laughs> earlier. Was was that a blunder? And he, he just called it a day? I guess, yeah. I'm trying to find a close battle and try that would be Warman and Communist. Struggling for grip, it is just it's a constant search for performance. Oh, I'm going to struggle in here in front of Super Woman. Woman's going to get him. Yeah, maybe. absolutely. Yeah, this is going to go into Puan, surely. Not a move can be done in these conditions down into Puan. Got a oh. audio glitch. So I'm going to switch on to Communist. Woman tries to squeeze through. There's no gap there. And he's just going to have to stay behind him for a few more corners. Chungus and Callum are closing up to each other. I think we're going to have to watch Warman though, because I think he might try and send it. Or look to get a better exit. Oh, he's, uh, he's held it really narrow. And he's... Oh. oh, he almost loses it. I'm going to have to switch to Chungus, because they're wheel to wheel through bus stop. Oh. Can he get him into the source? Looks like it, if you will. Well, uh, wheel to wheel going before. into the braking zone. He's gone deep. Is he going to get the apex? He does. Be of contact with Callum. Nothing done in terms of damage. But the position has been made by Chunkus. And now he hunts down Matty Moo Moo. Well, I'm in a still behind Communists. I think I'm going to switch over to them because they're both closing up. Surely a move into turn one. He won't send it. No, he's just staying behind him. Matty for second place, he's really closing up to Expilo. He's found his natural habitat in these wet conditions. Mm -hmm. And he's he's really closed the gap. Oh. On the exit. He's extending the track limits, but they're wheel to wheel, he's on the grass. And I think that's the move done for Warman. We're gonna try and look across, he is ahead into the oh. braking zone, but Communist comes back at him. But that is the move made. And move. Warman moves to 10th place. Thoughts so far then, we're on lap five of 13. How have you, uh, how have you found this race to, to be? It's been interesting, but any thoughts at the moment? Um, right now it looks like 
Pluto dominating this race after those pit stops he has a massive gap to fix Pluto but it looks like there might be a good battle on for P2 and in the midfield as well yeah absolutely the midfield never fails to deliver some good racing uh, in Italy we had a, both a fantastic battle for the race win and throughout the field intense midfield battles obviously with fewer drivers this time one retirement uh, it's always going to be a little bit more sparse however the racing we've seen so far has been absolutely brilliant only a little bit of, of contact and in these conditions as well I'm surprised there's not been more so yeah it's, uh, it's been so far yeah. At the moment, the gaps are about seven tenths between Matty and Xbilo and then Callum and Chungus. But we're going to see something in, unfold, I'm sure, in a few laps' time. Hopefully, yes. And then, of course, we've got, after this, the sprint race, which is going to be over, I think, um, eight laps or so. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to deliver something else. Hopefully it's dry for that. We'll be able to see dry pace. So it's going to give us a lot to look forward to in terms of racing. Uh, and I think Matty, yeah, he just can't quite close the gap enough to get towards XBLO to make a move. And that's a change of position. Chungus has made a mistake. Callum moves to fourth place. It's a, it's a shame we didn't see there. that because that was, it was quite a few tenths between them before the mistake was made. So I think that's about two seconds Chungus has lost with that. Yeah. It's very much survival of the, uh, the bravest at this time. Yeah. I'd imagine these wet tyres will get to the end, but we'll have to see. Yeah, I would imagine they would. They are, they are wet tyres. Matty and Xpilo, only three can separate them now. And then Chungus as well, is he going to make a move through Blanchimon? No way. No, Callum does get it covered off, but he's slow on the exit and that's allowed Chungus to go down the inside and make the move. He's got the apex. That's a done deal for him. Up to fourth place he goes. Ch Callum slips back to fifth. And Chungus elevates himself to fourth. If he can get the power down. Okay, without spinning. Super Wyman and Bennett as well. Look at this. Oh, Wyman just backs off slightly. There's about a tenth between them into the braking zone. He's basically pushing him through the zone. Bennett, can he get, get enough apex to hold Wyman back? Don't think he can though. I think Warman's going to send it into turn one. He's just going to hold back, prioritise a good exit, and I think this could be a move through O Rouge. I don't think, I think no, Bennett has got quite. a bit of a better exit. Communist is in the pit lane. Oh. This is all going to be on the top of the hill then, down the Kemmel Strait. Super Warman going to slipstream through. Whoa. Bennett back. Oh, wow. That was brave defending from Bennett. Warman well, basically pushing him through the corner, through the straight. The wheel to wheel through into the braking zone. And Bennett holds him. Oh. Not enough, though. Warman well, finds the gap. That's Bennett in the goal. And Super Warman well, elevates himself to P9. Brilliant battles from them. Yeah. Massey still can't get second. Jungus has made a massive mistake. Callum's back through. He went, he went really Yes, absolutely, wide. yeah. They're both going, they're all going wide at Pool 1. That's Florian going deep as well, and that's going to put Utah on his backside. So, yeah, Chungus makes a mistake. Like you said, Callum's three back to fourth. So, He's... I think Chung Chungus is going to have to make the move for three, like, the th three times in one race the same person for the same position yeah here he comes oh careful Big I mean that's on. that's ballsy Ooh, most of the time that's oh. ballsy most of the time but during wet conditions that's phenomenal the column keeps the Chungus 
Yeah, Jung Jungus wasn't able to quite to get the power down and, and, and move himself past. But to even try it, how fantastic was that? That's a mistake from Callum. That's allowed Chungus to get the power down. They're squirming all over the place. I think they're going to be wheels of wheel, and that's Chungus moving himself back to fourth for the third time in this race. He goes deep, though. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. This is the battle that keeps on giving. Callum gets back to fourth. Chungus down to fifth. There we go. On the top of the hill, he keeps it within track limits, and he's going to be, again, wheels to wheel down the Kemmel straight. He's on the outside of Callum, so Callum's going to be, you know, forcing him onto the, the curbing, which arguably you don't want to be when you're braking. Oh, but he's still going to make Callum. it, and actually that's a spin from Callum. What, what a shame, oh. and he's retired, and he's out of this race. That's a shame. That's no, a such a shame. <laughs> Little flags all over the track. I'm not sure Thanks. we don't get... I don't know why we're not getting... I think it might be a VSC here. Yeah, it might be a VSC because they're not closing up. Let's take a look at the gaps to the leaders then. Six point eight. safety car deployed? I think the safety car is out. Look. Oh, it is. The safety car is out. Good spot. Yeah, yeah. Down in turn one. Yeah. So that's going to negate that entire lead that Pluto's built up. That's unlucky for Pluto there, but I feel like he'll be able to build it back up again. Yeah, he's he's been the dominant force in this. Cheers, Callum. Just reading the text, he's blaming me for spinning for spinning him out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So yes, we have got a safety car, as you can see on the display board, that's going to negate everyone's lead. Pluto pits, so he doesn't think those words are going to go all the way. Explo follows him in, so does Matty. Is Chungus going to pit, or is he going to try and take the lead of this race? He is going to pit as well. So Explo, yeah, he's just switching positions. I think he almost jumped at Pluto, but they uh, they entered the fast lane inside of each other. So everyone is pitting, and the race is going to be reset. This time, Google saw is far enough away from his teammate that he doesn't have to follow him in. <laughs> so that's good news. So yes, Pluto is on the back of the safety car now. We've got four laps to go. Surely the safety car is only going to last a couple at most. And then we're going to get two laps of green flag running. So yeah. Callum, you might have retired, but you have spiced this race up tremendously. Yeah. I'm surprised he actually retired from how slow he hit the barrier, especially when he does damage. So apparently it was a game DNF thing. Ch uh, yeah. Callum. That's bizarre, because he only went in at about two miles an hour. Especially on the I don't know damage. why the game... Yeah. The game, I shouldn't have retired in there. I know it doesn't in single player. Communist and Bennett have swapped places. They're nowhere near each other though. What's... Oh, they are. Oh. So I'm looking at Florian. I don't know why they're swapping places. Interesting. 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think we've been robbed of a really good battle between Chungus and Callum. They seem to have a, a, a good equal level playing field. Uh, and they had the measure of each other, but apparently the game has deemed it uh, not allowed. We're not allowed to have good racing. <laughs> Florian and Utah will swap places. I'm not sure what that's about. I think that might have been just being too close and kind of overtaking each other. So we're going on to the second lap of this safety car period. Lap 10 of 13, so four laps to go. It's going to be three this time around. Do you think we'll be green flag racing? How many laps of the safety car do you think we'll have? I think there will be one more lap after this, just because that's how the game works out. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I, well, I would imagine so, with the fact that it wasn't a massive crash. And do you think do you think the safety car restarts gonna be clean? 